First of all, it's not too hard to preach in here because the Holy Spirit is in. Amen. I say the Holy Spirit is in the house. And it's not no problem preaching because it ain't none of me, no, huh? The power of the Lord. So the first thing I want to say, I compliment my grandson on, on his music and my brother on the zeal and I, Reverend Hudson, Pastor Hudson, and, and Pastor Charles over there. I just thank him and I thank my daughter, and I thank, I thank all of y'all today. I just I want you to know that I love you. See, that's the solid of the foundation of the church. It's good to have the building, but the church is the foundation. He say, love ye one to another. That's one of his greatest commandments, is love one to another. So that's the solid of the church. That's the foundation. We don't look at the seats as being empty in here. We don't look at that. Because guess what? He said, great is he that's in you than is he that's in the world. We, we don't know what the world is doing out there, but I tell you one thing, the spirit of the Lord is in the house. Right. And the church is going to grow. The church we visit over here, it's going to grow. Because we have to come together on one call. I want to let you know right now, uh, we want to go straight to the word. And, uh, I just thank God for Pastor Hudson, his wife, and I thank God for all of y'all because I love y'all. And we got to have show love one to another. Amen? Amen. Thank God. And we have to show love one to another. And that's, that's the key of the church. That's the foundation. Now you can put the model down. Put the brick up there, and everything, and then you can open school hall in there if you wanted to. But the foundation of the church is love. Love ye one to another. My message today is don't be deceived. That's my text. Don't be deceived. See, Satan is designed to deceive us. But if you look at the scripture in Genesis, First chapter, the 26th verse. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowls of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over everything that creepeth. So God created man in his image. In the image of God, he created man, female and male. So I want to stop right there with the text. And I just want y'all to know that what I'm saying is don't be deceived. See, we can look around the church and don't see many people in here, so we ain't going to do nothing. But you got to keep the faith. They work with that faith today. See, don't look at that. But look higher, look higher. God is higher than all of it. He's the highest of all. So I'm going to let you know today, it's a, in, in, in James 4 and 7, it says, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. Yeah. Say, what is that? Resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. Now we all, Paul said, I all know he was trying to do good, evil was with him all the time. And don't you, don't you, don't you deceive yourself. Satan never quit. The whole time we're trying to do good, Satan put thoughts in your mind. I don't care how you, it's no man perfect. Satan will put thoughts in your mind. See, that's deceiving you. He, that's his job, is trying to deceive you. Because he knows once you get close to God, that, that means that if you get close to him, you receive power. Then it say you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost come up on you. You shall receive power. So Satan knows that if he, if he don't miss you deceiving you, then you got power of the Holy Ghost. Because God, we're created in his image. In the image of God, we are. We are created in the image of God. If you go back way, 
way he breathed in Travis Austin, breath. Well, he created us from the image, picked us up from the dust, shaped us and molded us. But guess what? We wasn't alive right then. We were yet dead. When he created us, we still were dead. Until he breathed into our nostrils breath. When he breathed into our nostrils breath, we become living souls. Don't be deceived. Every breath we breathe, breathe belongs to God. We don't even own ourselves. But see, when you give over to him, let God come in. See, I'm, I'm going to say this. All my blessings and all my glory belong to God. You got to give it up. And let God come in. He said when he come in, when he say you shall receive power. Y'all hear me? He said you shall receive each one in this church. We got power enough to build that church. We got power enough to do whatever we want to do in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Because he left his word here for us, didn't he not? In the beginning was the word. Reverend Hutton spoke on that the night. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So when you get to study and thinking about the word of God, you know what happened right then? The word of God started bubbling over in you. Y'all don't hear me, do you? Yeah, yeah. Look here. The word of God started bubbling on you. You know you become sons of God. Every born again believer becomes sons of God. Knowing who we are in Christ Jesus. The first thing we need to know who we really are. Right. Yeah. I have learned that in my 72 years. I learned that. Knowing who you are, who are you in Christ Jesus. But through Christ Jesus, I can do all things to strengthen me.
for me and my kennel. My belly is the kennel of God. That's why he dwells at in my stomach is the kennel of God. Look it up. You ain't got to believe me. Turn your Bible to look it up. I want to tell you today, church, we, we got, got the victory. All right. Amen. God loves us so much. He sent his son down to die for us. You know? He, 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 he covered with his blood. All who I was in and what we ever did, it's, it's here with the blood of Jesus. We covered. And he said, now, nah, you're my sons and my daughters. Yeah. But you know what Satan had you think? Oh, I ain't fit for nothing. I ain't nobody. Satan had you thinking that. Because yeah. he got you where he wants. Don't be deceived. Yeah. Say it. Always keep that in your mind, I'll never. Say it, church. I'll never be deceived. So some God said. See? And if we think that way, you know what? Whatever we go through, we're going to go through some trial and tribulation. Because yeah. he said his way is going to be easy all the right. time. But you know what? You go through something. Church, you know what that is when you go through something? You got to go through a learning. He's shaking you, pruning you. You see a rose bush in your yard? And what rose bush get rotten, he'll take and, and cut that rose bush while, while it come out and make a beautiful rose. He's shaping you and pruning you when you go through trials and tribulations. But if you ain't going through nothing, you got ice cream and cake all your life, you don't know nothing because you ain't went through nothing. Hey! We all are child, children of God. Don't come here and do what Bruce you tell me. Don't come here and show both. Don't be show both. You be for real with God when you come into the house. Be for real with God when you come to the house. I come for a blessing. I don't know what y'all come for. But time is too hard out right there to be sucking the child. It's time to have your mind on the Lord. I know the Lord where all my strength comes from God. It's too time too hard to be sucking the child. Hallelujah. I'm letting you know right now. I'm getting close to the other being. I'm getting closer. The only get the close don't get. I've been through that and did that. I'm getting closer to the Lord. Cause what ain't, ain't nothing else out there but trouble. All your cars, your money, your boats, and your houses don't mean nothing. But only what's done for Christ will last. Only what's done for Christ will last. Because I know that he with me everywhere I go. I know that he with me. He say, draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. I don't have to worry about what man say about me. But all my help comes from the Lord. All my help comes from the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, he said, abide in me and I abide in you. That's a John 15 and 4. Abide in me and I abide in you. See, what are you saying? You got to be connected. Now I'm going to show y'all something real close. You stick your finger up one of them light bulbs in that light socket over there, you're going to get some juice. You're going to get some juice because you connected. That's the same way about the Holy Ghost. What do you say? You shall receive power. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost come on you. You should be witness in all the world. And you should be loving one another and, and giving praise to God.
got to do. And they make you walk right. They make you talk right. Hey! They make you love everybody. I don't know about y'all, but it ought to be some fire in the house. It ought to be some
preacher, but I don't know what he did in a good sermon. But you need to know, you need to check behind and know for yourself what the word say. What does the word say? In the beginning was the word and the word was with God. Check out the word. Evil never had me when I say something. Check it out. You got your Bible? Check it. It's not me, it's the power of God. It's the power of God. When, when we realize one thing, that God is almighty God, when we realize one thing, that when he created us, we were created in his image. Uh -huh. Don't be deceived. Satan can deceive us. Yeah. No, he don't mean it like that. Okay, you look in the garden of Eve. Adam and Eve was in the garden, right? Yeah. Am I right about that? The serpent, one of the highest serpents, come to Eve. Yeah. And told Eve, hey, he told Eve, didn't he tell Eve? See, God doesn't know that the day you eat of this, you look good and eat. But what did God say? Come on, what did God say? See, what, what God said, I created the world, hey, and the fullness thereof, and everything that I created was good. Who wanted to know Eve? From the beginning, now we still been deceived. Because if you don't study your word, you don't come to Bible study, and you don't study your word, you know what's going to happen? Say, man, she live by bread, not by bread alone. Now. But that's the word that the seed out of the mouth of God. You need to study your word. You need to come to Bible study. We need to get together and love that's what's going to take to build a church. Uh, you want a strong church? Let it be found on the foundation of God. Uh, and the foundation of God is his word. Is his word. Check it out. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. That's the foundation. Is his word. You're not speaking the word. I'm going to cast you away from my temple. This temple must be holy. If, if the word ain't right, I'm gonna cast it away. See, I don't wanna put nothing in here but his word. And that's what makes us become a son of God. Some people say right now, well, I'm gonna wait and tap into hell. But I'm gonna tell you, God's plan is for us to live that way down here. God wants us to live that way down here. Because if he didn't, he wouldn't create in us uh, his spirit. Uh, he wouldn't create in us the spirit of God. He wouldn't have created in us in the image of God. I'm going to let you know right now that God lives within you. Each one of y'all here now, you, you need to know who you really are. You need to know that God, you are his dwelling place. He dwells within you. Family. It's like we're the family of God right here. You sat and said, get together, give everybody a hug, and we greet one another. You become a family, you become sons of God. That's how much He loves us. And see, Satan will make you think you ain't good for nothing. He'll make you think that. You see, people go out and hang themselves and kill themselves. That'd be the work of Satan. Well, I ain't good for nothing. What I'm living for? And they go kill themselves. But see, if you become a son of God, the spirit is always with you. Now don't you do that. The spirit of God takes you. He's with you. Say so you never leave, you never forsake you. So you don't have to worry about that. And what I'm trying to say, I'm just closing, man. But, but, but what I'm trying to tell you today, be for real. Be for real. Don't, 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 don't show up. Be for real. See, this was going to be of the church. Pay the tithe. Pray for one another. Love one another. It, you don't have to do it to be seen. Don't nobody know what they give in this church. 
Because that's what to be in God. You don't have to do it to be saved. You just be right with God. Make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to do. Be right with God. And when you be right with God, he'll take care of the rest. He said, don't worry, you're my son. Whatever you ask in my name, it shall be done. And I want to let y'all know today that the God that we serve, he's alive and he's well. We don't serve no dead God. We can't, we don't have to say, well, I'm going to wait till I get to hell. I hear a lot of people wait till I get to hell. God living in you, him. He said, I'm in you. Great is he that's in you. What's that? What is he saying? When you say great is he that's in you. That means the spirit of God is with you. That means you can walk right. You can talk right. You can love everybody. Because the spirit of God is dwelling in you. Hallelujah. And I just, I'm just looking at you the other day. I love you. Every one of you, I love you. And that's where God wants us to be. You get out of the church, baby. And you old so and so. Stop playing. Stop playing. You're messing your own temple up. You didn't hurt nobody but yourself. Stop messing. Live right for Him. Regardless of what people say about you, just live right for God. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Satan comes and steals. Kill and destroy. We say he gives you life and more money. I don't care what you go through with God is more powerful and more stronger than that. I don't care what you go through with, God is with you. Everywhere you go, he with you. Say no want you to see that. Say no want you to see that. But he with you everywhere you go. Because I love it with all my heart. And that's the way we got 